Hey Jose, this is Angel. I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for speaking with me the other day and letting me know that I can send you this video. Um, and I'm with Ads with Angel Digital Marketing LLC and sister company with Saltwater Marketing LLC. Um, and I am just making this quick video to give you tips and tricks on how to improve your website so you can start bringing in more monthly revenue for free. I know you're probably wondering why we're taking the time to do this for you and I'll tell you it's because we understand business owners reach a point where they're just too busy running their business and they don't have the extra time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring all the buyer intent customers in. And the only thing that is holding business owners back, I found, is from hiring a marketing agency is because they really don't know, you know, who's the expert and who's really going to be a waste of time and money. So I found that creating these videos and giving them away for free are like, there's a lot of companies who still end up calling back and asking for help um, building their business and getting this stuff done. So if by the end of this video you like the tips and tricks that I'm showing you, you can always give us a call back and I'd be more than willing to help you go through all this. Um, if you want to just take this information and use it on your own, please do so. Um, we love to see growth even if we don't assist. We want everyone to succeed. So in this video, I'll be talking about three key points today. Content, which is words and pictures and words behind the pictures and they have unique and relevant high, high quality. Citations, get business verified with Okay, sorry, I just wanted to make sure I was on the right page. Okay, so citations are basically getting your company name, address, phone number, website, and how many times you're listed in different directories like Yellow Pages, Angie's List, Yelp, etc. Lots of those. You want high quality ones um, so that you can, ha you always want to have like 100 more than your competitor. And then backlinks are basically just being on another website that is linked back to your site and brings relevant traffic and keywords that you're trying to ring for. So you definitely want to be in the right industry. So say, for example, you're carpet cleaning, you're going to want to be in that same industry um, with your backlinks and web, uh, websites that you're registered with. So here I've pulled up your page, your website. Um, first things first, I love the fact that you have a call to action. That is so important and a lot of places actually don't do this. Um, and I really want to commend that. That is so awesome. This call to action is very important. Um, and I love that you have it twice and it's like yellow is a really good color. You know, also you picked red, blue and yellow and these are really good like eye catching colors. Um, now I will say, you know, everything loads pretty well and I really like that. Um, don't, don't, um, pay any attention to the red outlines on stuff. It's just a program I have on my computer. Um, so like I said, I really love how everything pulls through really nicely. Um, I love your contact form. Now it might look a little bit different on my, on my screen because it's just a smaller window. Um, so it just needs, you know, space to load everything up in here. I love your contact form. I love that you have your phone number throughout. That's so important. Um, contact information. It's awesome. Now I will say, unfortunately, Google is not raking the appearance of your site. Google is using bots called crawlers that scan the content inside your site to find keywords to rank you for in the search results. And for that reason, Google says um, content is really super important. You want a minimum of 1,500 words on your homepage and then um, about 500 words on your back service pages. So like all these pages that you have. Um, the rule of thumb, you know, it just, it prevents keyword stuffing too to have more, a lot of content because um, you're wanting, you're going to want to have um, one keyword per every hundred words. Um, with keywords being the major way your customers are finding you when they're searching Google, you want a lot of content to show up in all those searches. Okay. Okay, so now this is an example for just one like main keyword in your area. And I've pulled this up. So carpet cleaning Milwaukee, right? I've been looking into this and this is a really popular keyword. Now you do have this keyword on your website, which is awesome. We love to see that. Um, so this keyword is actually getting searched 90 times per month. So that's actually a lot like per month people are searching carpet cleaning in Milwaukee. Like nine, like that's even 20 customers, you know, at, 
whatever you're charging is still good. Um, but 90 searches per month is um, really good. So, okay. So let's just scroll down here. Um, okay. So the first thing customers see anytime they do search in the Google is the Google map rankings um, or Google my business, for example. So to get this optimized, you want to add company info and photos like real real time photos of your company um, and citations. So so you are on so that you're on 100 or more than your competitors to be able to beat them to get into these top rankings. Um, then you have organic searches and let's see okay so this is your this is oxyfresh is your competitor in the area so this is their website um and i really i want to tell you having more content on your page is really going to help you outrank them okay because that rule of 1500 and now con like i was saying before content can be also um pictures and words so words behind pictures keywords behind pictures is important as well and that does count for content um, okay, so I have a tool called Arefs, and this basically just checks um, everything on the back end of your website, right? So we plugged in your website here and we put it for your main domain and then all of its back pages. So right now you have a 26 UR and a 0.6 DR. Normally we want this to be a 50, 50 uh, sorry, not 50, um, one, oh, one to one ratio. For some reason I'm stuttering. Um, and then you have your backlinks and your referring domains and then you have your keywords okay and then so going through this it just shows you all the numbers that you wouldn't normally see um and this is a free free tool but um keep in mind not all tools are created equal there's lots of other tools that will search the same information this is just the most relevant one i've been finding um so let's see it's gonna let me Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay, so then you have your organic keywords, which is 28. You have your 97 referring domains and 466 backlinks. So that's actually good. I love to see that you have something here. So then you're getting about eight organic traffic from all of this. We're going to want to bump that up, right? Ideally, with that one-to-one -one ratio is, you know, getting relevant backlinks for your industry to drive the best traffic to you with buyer intent meaning people who are ready to spend money and make sure that your site has the backlinks for the high ranking sites so we want these backlinks to be sites that are already ranked fairly high and we can find that by going to your competitor and figuring out like what they have and then we can get you on there as well as adding more because you know we're not trying to match them we're trying to beat them and like I was saying before you want to always have a hundred or more than your competitors to be in that top three section okay so then let's just go through here okay so I showed you so let me just show you your competitors numbers so you can kind of see what I'm talking about so let's see here I'm gonna copy their main page kind of get a little <laughs> paste search all right and it is absolutely possible for you to get above your competitors all we do is we put you on all the backlinks they have plus more within the industry so here you can see what I was talking about like for a one-to-one -one ratio right and then they have um, 1.64 thousand referring domains with 54.4 um, thousand backlinks and these seem to be high traffic quality backlinks because they're one-to-one -one ratio this is like basically your um, popularity contest with Google they want you to be you know because key, you know content is very important keywords um, figuring all that stuff out is very important as well so we definitely want to why is this not letting me okay oh it's loading slowly um, we definitely want to make sure that we're putting in that proper stuff Oh, there we go. I was like, it's not wanting to let me go. So they have 29.4 thousand um, organic keywords. And again, that is something we can most certainly get you on. I know it looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. <laughs> um, of course, it's a lot, but it's very simple to get you up there as well. Um, because you can always use the same keywords because you're obviously trying to rank for the same area. 
Um, and they get about out of you know out of all this stuff, like they get about forty seven three um, organic traffic, which is very very good, and very very reachable for you. So it's something that we can most certainly get you up to. Let's go over here. Okay, so just to recap, your home page you're gonna want fifteen hundred words on your main page. Um, words uh, content being um, pictures as well as words and then for every back page we want 500 words for each service back page and content and pictures as well um, and like I was saying one keyword for every hundred words and then also getting your company added to all of as well as over a hundred more online directories and your top competitor will help you rank higher and making sure those are high quality industry relevant backlinks so as long as you're completing these things and like you're getting these stuff done, you you most certainly will be able to outrank your com your competition on not only Google Maps up here, like you'll be able to have it, but you'll also be able to be in the organic search listing um, in the top three, and that's really where we want because you know these are Angie's list and Yelp, and that's just not you know not what we're looking for. Um, so for this video, I just use the OxyFresh um, as a competitor as well as this key, uh, key phrase, Carpet Cleaning Milwaukee. Of course, there are hundreds of keywords that you will be able to use um, and that most certainly will be super helpful because like I was showing you, these people um, have 29,000 keywords and it really is all about ranking the highest you can in each keyword. Um, which is very possible. But you also do want to go for like the main searched keyword, right, for that type of industry. So if it was like hairstylist, your one wouldn't be hairstylist Milwaukee. You know, obviously you get the point, right? Um, so, but I really want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy business day, I'm sure, to watch my video. Um, all I really ask that you do is if you could just provide some feedback on this video, I'd really appreciate that. Um, I'd really, really love your input on how I did and like what you thought of it. Otherwise, that's really all I have for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Like I said, the video is free for you to do with whatever you please. If you find that outsourcing this section of your business will be better for you, um, we'd really love to hear back from you. We being me as well as my sister company, Saltwater Marketing. Um, I would just really appreciate that for sure um, with feedback. Um, and then we'd be more than willing to help if you did have any questions. Um, otherwise, you have a wonderful day, and thanks again for taking the time out. Hope to hear from you soon.